So we've seen already how different organisms need different types of cells to be able to function. But actually to get these cells, you start off generally with this general cell. So this is made up of the regular structures. It's not specialized for any specific purpose. And then as the organism develops, cells tend to differentiate into more specialized cells. So for example, you might have a general animal cell on the left hand side over here. And this develops maybe into a muscle cell and some of it will develop into nerve cells and so on and so forth. So you could also have some sperm cells over here. So depending on the function, whatever the organism needs, the general cells will start to develop into the specialized cells. And so that's also true for plant cells as well. Uh, you can develop the plant cell, general plant cell to xylem cells, to phloem cells, things like that. Now, one important thing to note, the difference between the animal cells and plant cells. So for animal cells, they tend to develop at an early stage of the organism's life and they basically lose the ability to develop after that or specialize after that and so what we can say here is that within a mature animal cell essentially at this stage it's mature and it will only cell division will only occur to allow for repair and replacement so you won't really get cell division which will develop the cell further from what it was and specialize it further once the early stages are over you will no longer be able to have produce more specialized animal cells for plant cells it's the this actually doesn't apply and so for a plant cell, we can say that they retain the ability to specialize throughout their life. And that's why you can essentially take a cutting from a tree and plant it and it will grow into a whole new tree because it can specialize into the different cells that it needs. It's limited for animal cells, it's less limited for plant cells. And we can say this process of differentiation essentially is the cell basically reproduces or divides itself. Essentially, you might have a cell like this, then divide into two new cells and then those that will then to divide further like this so you end up with four cells and the idea is that as you go on and on and the cell develop okay in this cell you might add an additional mitochondria yeah so you might have one over here and you have two mitochondria over here then in these cells they continue to develop new substructures within the cell to allow them to become specialized and it's just like this how you get specialized cells so that's the actual process of cell differentiation and what's going on okay so let's go do some questions to see what you guys have picked up Okay, let's go through some questions. Feel free to pause the video, have a go as usual. So question one, can animal cells specialize throughout their lifetime? So this one is actually not true. And the reason for that is that animal cells, once they are mature, they can no longer specialize and that happens quite early on. Plant cells, however, can specialize throughout their lifetime. Question two, what is the importance of cell, spe cell specialization? Well, the idea is that cells can be adapted specifically to their function. And what that means is that the organism as a whole can function much better with different types of cells suited for their particular function okay so hope that makes sense and i will see you guys in the next one